I want to continue here the conversation about what are the fundamental laws or rules governing the behavior of matter and energy by talking about the law of entropy. This is, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, a little trickier. It's trickier to understand, not because it's inherently difficult, but really it's, it's just because a strict statement of the law doesn't make its consequences explicitly clear. So let's take a look at it. The law of entropy, also called the second law of thermodynamics, states that a net increase in entropy occurs within a closed system. Right away, I hope you're looking at that going, well, there are some words there. If I don't know what they mean, I don't know what this means. So let's define a couple key words. Entropy, scientifically, is a measure of disorder or chaos within a physical system. A closed system is a physical system which is isolated from and does not exchange energy and matter with its surrounding environment. We're particularly interested here in the energy exchange. When a system is closed, isolated from energy input, entropy or disorder within that system tends to increase. Now, this is a place where people often misunderstand the law because well, the human body, when it's alive, is not a closed system. We're taking energy in from an outside source. Uh, our planet is not a closed system. It's receiving energy input from the sun, among other sources. But this law still has consequence for biology. Just because a system isn't a closed system doesn't mean the law of entropy has no meaning. The real question is, why does entropy increase in a closed system? And the answer to that is, there are no 100% efficient energy conversions. Every time energy changes form from one form to another, a portion of that energy becomes heat. Now, it's still energy. Heat still represents a form of energy, but heat is an inherently disordered form of energy. And so if you have a system that's closed off from an energy input, every time energy within that system transforms, more and more of that energy becomes heat and therefore more and more disorder creeps up in the system. Now again, our, the human body may not be a closed system, but that reality that there are no 100% efficient energy transformations has consequences within our bodies. Let's look at it this way. Let's take our cell again. Cells have to do a certain amount of work to survive. That work requires energy, a certain amount of energy. We're going to acquire that energy from an outside source based on the law of conservation of energy. But Whatever energy we take in, as we transform it to use it, some of that energy is going to become heat. And whatever energy becomes heat is not being used to do work. That means for a cell, the amount of raw energy it takes in has to be greater than the total amount of energy it's going to need to do work. Otherwise, it can't survive. So whereas the law of conservation of energy says we need to take in energy from an outside source, the consequences or the implications of the law of entropy are the amount of energy we take in has to be greater than what we need because some of what we take in is going to be lost, in quotes, as heat. Lost as in the energy is not destroyed, just lost as in it's not doing work. In all of this, because the net increase in entropy occurs within closed systems. Now that I've talked through the laws of matter and energy, I think it's time to start talking about the nature of matter itself.